tell him we want a peaceful solution and tell him to give us our clothes back. Hi all! Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, yeah, we almost got into some trouble with the, the Morians. Well, we got in some sort of trouble, but we solved that. Yep. And I can see a lot of sand people down there. Not even sure. Let's see, how many? I see five. So I guess, do we have... Ready. Yeah? Everyone's got shields ready, so let's use them. Hmm? Acknowledgement! Yeah? And, uh, Hmm? Can I throw something down at them? Maybe not. Um, let's see. I've got... Poison... Is Poison Grenade gonna help? I'm gonna try. That's one. Can I... Can I... Get to one more before they all run up to us? I can't even target them, so that's not helping. Um, alright. I... I wanna get to that. Because I think... Five of them is gonna be tough. Adhesive, cryoban, plasma, shadow. Oh, it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. We've got a couple standing there, so let's try and disable place the few. Oh, there's more. There's more of them. Let's see. Yeah, let's try. Oh, and he's also throwing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go into that trap. Or. I mean, stand still and just take it. Um, so I lost my shield. So what do I do? Strength, perhaps? Yeah, let's try that. And... Maybe stun one of them. And I want to have him shoot the ones that are ranged. He can't. He's not doing... Wait a second. Um, concussion. It's not gonna... Well, maybe concussion. And then I need to put up a heal for mission's sake. Alright, let's try this. You'll pay! And now, yeah, all right, she's back. Uh, a heal, I guess. And what can he do? Concussion, or can he not? Wait, maybe a mission can target one of these. Concussion, grenade, sonic. It's not really that helpful. Maybe just shoot it. And they're going for... Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Come on, take it. Her pistols are so bad. She's not almost doing no damage at all. Let's see. Yeah, I've already got one, so that's probably... Wait, is it... Um... It doesn't say, really. Um... So how do I... How can I know... There's something I'm forgetting about this game, probably. <laughs> uh... Alright, let's use this one then. Actually, should probably heal too, if we can get to that. So, 
Oh, there's come more of them coming. Yeah. Um, all right. Now there's two left. Can you throw something at them? Mission. How about? Uh, yeah, concussion grenade seems to be. Now that. Must now we've got three more to worry about. <laughs> All right, that helps. But she is so slow. Firing? Yeah. But we are good. So let's see. All right, more disguises. Guess we. Yeah, we can probably sell the rest. It's gonna be so unpleasant to wear those nasty robes. Just because someone else has been breathing into them and yeah, I don't particularly enjoy the smell of sand people. I think <laughs> I can't be sure. Um, they could use, could be using sand, deodorant, something, fresh sand, you know. Well, um, I think I already picked up this, haven't I? No. Oh, more banta fodder. That's probably useful for something. I'm not sure what, but we'll find out. So, uh, I guess before we head on in, we need to equip those lovely robes. Mm -hmm. I take it HK doesn't need one. <laughs> Would be what? so weird to have a droid wearing that and very, very suspicious. <laughs> so, I don't know if they've ever seen one of their people uh, wielding lightsabers, but I'm not gonna stop and ask. So yeah, there's a couple of mines around here, so we need to be a bit careful. Uh, can I do something with this panther? Oh, nothing. There's a corpse over there. Maybe we should check it out. Uh, yep. Thank you. How about... This? Oh. Uh, nope. There's something over there as well. Just gonna... Oh. Yeah, rubble. We certainly don't need rubble. We've got enough to carry around, so... Yeah, we are sand people. Never mind us. Nothing to see. Alright, I guess that was it. So now we just hopefully enter peacefully well we did enter peacefully but is it gonna stay that way I don't know <coughs> One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Oh yeah? Quickly, tell him we are not a threat. Translation. <laughs> Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. 
Apologize for being here. Say we want peace. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Tell him we want a peaceful solution and tell him to give a us our clothes back. <laughs> Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? You see now, cowboy. Ask him what he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. All right. Tell him we will get his separators. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. So, now can we get dressed again? <laughs> yep. I would prefer to have some protection against that those blazing suns. And let's see. Let's just use this. All right. And mission 2. You need to have some Well, we'll use this for now. It's not pretty, but it works. All right. So I guess there's no point in running back. We could just use uh, this one. It's gonna be way too much running in the desert. So, uh, and also, I want to check to see if the Giska is still on board. Yeah, they are. Wait, no. So that's so strange. Did I? just spend what uh, 700 credits on useless poison because yeah maybe it takes a while and I shouldn't have been so impatient all right well I can go out and sell it again so we still need these two because we are looking for her brother and he needs to be a translator. Yeah, now we need to go by evaporators. I guess the Circa shop guy could help us with that. There's not many shops here so our options are limited. Well, good thing they're surprisingly light because we have to carry them through the desert. I have no idea how big they are and I'll never find out, will I? <laughs> Alright, um, so this is going to be a long trek back. I guess I'll do it by magic of editing. So, see you soon. 
All right, we are back. So this guard looks like we need to talk to him before we can enter. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. <laughs> Tell him we have the evaporators. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Tell him that we have. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. All right. But I do have a few questions for him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Well, I would like to hear about captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Well, ask him about Griff. Translation. <laughs> He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Nope, no killing. Can you ask them about the Jawas Isis told us about? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Oh, good. So, uh, tell him far farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Alright, so... We can go get the Jawas and Griff. Let's not try to loot anything here, because that would be dumb <laughs> and greedy and not Jedi-like at all. So let's see, yeah, there's a couple rooms over here, so I can even see the f feet of a Jawa. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I am old city new, that's a funny way to say it. Yeah, the sand people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. So, the tiny little feet, I could hear it, hear them in the sand. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, you there. I'm, uh... I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Oh, really? And there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. 
It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, I, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough-looking friend there. Yep, the sand people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should've just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. You're talking about her while she's standing there? So don't be so sure. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. So? Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? No, absolutely not. Huh. I uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Greta, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. <laughs> and actually, couldn't he have crawled under this? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh well. I guess we're done here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take a peek. There's nothing. Yeah, we're not gonna loot the place, so just looking. Let's see. Ah. I don't want to anger them. Let's just get out of here. Alright, I guess we can quick travel back to Ebonhawk. Yeah. And, yeah. Griff's got some stuff he wants to talk to us about, but I'm not sure I want to talk to him. He's such uh, uh, I don't know, I can't even find the, a word for it. <laughs> Let's just go talk to Cir Circa first. Oh, he's here. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Yeah, I have the gaffy sticks from uh, the Zerga Chieftain. I see that, but do you have the all-important that, Chieftain's gaffy? That's that what, what you agreed to get for us. Just said, didn't I? Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. Yeah, I didn't do that for you. So, um, all right. I'm sure. Zerka Corporation thanks you again. Not gonna beg for money. Okay, for mission's sake, I'll talk to him. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. <laughs> hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. Come on, Griff, get to the point. As you may know, 
Tac glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. Of course you do. So, you want to open a bar? I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. So how are you planning on getting that without me? Alright. Well, that's what you get for dealing with the exchange. Come on, Mission. I I'm your brother. I'm family. You can't turn your back on me. Forget it, Griff. I'm not falling for that line again. You'll have to find your own way out of this mess. You bring me a single tack land, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. I'm not gonna do that just because you expect everyone else to help you. But maybe I will help Mission out if she asks for it. Yeah. Uh, alright. Hey there, what can I do for you? So about your brother. I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Theresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's mm -hmm. coming to him. <laughs> totally get that. So, uh... But still... I guess... He's your brother, and you care about him? Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. I don't think anyone can teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat plans for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's just... Stupid thing to do for him because we just saved his life or possibly and he all he could think about was his next way of grabbing money that yeah that doesn't sound like someone who's gonna be turning around anytime soon so I don't know I'm gonna end this episode here and when we come back we will have a chat with everyone on Ebon Hawk. So until then, thanks for watching. Bye!